Yeah, so what kind of unconstitutional shit are they doing? Don't let me kick them. They're harassing me. I know, they're harassing you because you reported the this. police chief. This. Yeah. Yeah, they said they could see that from the road. And I can't have that. What? The this. exit sign? Yeah, because it's locked. Door's locked. Can't have that. That's retarded. Yeah. Yeah. The answer? Yes, sir. May I read that before you all come in? Sure. I don't appreciate you threatening to kick my door in, by the way. I'm not threatening to kick you, your door Yes, sir, you did. You did. You I said, said I need you to come down soon. Or you would kick my door in. We would have to force your door open. Mm -hmm. That's not the way you worded it. Yes, it is. No, it's not, brother. I take good notes on all y'all because y'all are all fucking up big time. Okay. And the city's about to get sued by a 1983 lawsuit for your harassment and Fourth Amendment right violation by that piece of shit right there. Mm -hmm. For what? What are you coming in for? The next page right there talks about what your circumstances are. <clears throat> the level of threshold required to get an administrative work is very low compared to a typical search warrant. Is this typically what y'all do for an outlet that's out? And you got uh, multiple reports on wrong codes? No, there's other violations that are. No, they're saying they can see this from the roadway behind this wall, and that's the violation. Correct. Right. That is, that is something that they saw one of the first times they came out, and when we talked to Borrego, Borrego said that he was going to try to explain that to you, but you got upset because of that outlet thing, and basically told him they had to leave, so he had to leave because he didn't have a warrant. That was in March. I called bullshit on that big time. That's you told obvious. me it was a scene from the road. No, no, no. I wish y'all would quit fucking lying to me. I'm not lying. I got the recorded phone call that I can provide you later on. Good, I'll take it. But no, every gym has one of those exit signs right by the door. It's, That's not it's, at all. it's necessary to be there. It's not my, my understanding what the issue is is when a person comes into the building, if there's panic and fear and they're mm -hmm. trying to escape, the door's right there. They need to be able to run. Yep. Slam the door. Front door's right there. Yeah. Yeah. On the other side of this wall. And it's an escape door. You got one in the front, one in the back. Like yeah. I told you. It was no, sir. This does not have to. It's not the way to go. Well, I don't know. What I'm telling you is they can't have. They don't. They can't have a step. Yes, they sure can. Hundred percent. Okay. Well. The step can't be for the emergency doors. Which that one's over there and that one's back there. No one around here is the same emergency and doors. There's no internal locks on the emergency doors. That's correct. And they know that because I told them plenty of times. And that is pretty good. And we're back in, here harassing in, me. In here, what they're talking about is when you got your CFO, you need to have a knock box on the building. Not doing that either. This is my fourth amendment right. Okay. They can make me put a knock box up there, but they can't touch that key. So what's the point? Oh, and I'm going to get this down auto involved too because they're going to do a lawsuit. They already said they'll do a lawsuit on you guys for that. Good, bring it. This whole town's fed up with y'all's bullshit. I'm not trying to create bullshit, man. I'm just trying to get them to get through with their job so we can move on. Well, they work for you, so the Fourth Amendment right violations, that fucker should have been fired a long time ago. Well, I, I don't have that authority to fire him. They didn't work for you? I supervise him. That's it. Management. I don't know his business. He needs to know his business. Not exactly. Me. I mean, that's the issue. He doesn't know his business. He reports to issue. somebody. He reports to me as a managerial type. So he reports to the city council? No, city manager is in charge of all He's of a piece of shit, too. That's my problem. He's the one that said he can come to my property whenever he wants to, too. And that guy took an oath. Piece of shit. Okay, so we were coming in here for what? I drove down the alleyway to look for violations. This is Corey doing this? Corey is the one that got the administration. Interesting. Yes. Harassment. They don't ever do that. Good, Corey. You're on my shit list too now. I mean, I mean, this is all harassment if you think oh, about it's it. Harassment, 100. Dude, my lawyer already told me they're fucked. All they gotta do is pull the trigger. And it's funny when you when you call someone. I thought it was a fucking apology, and instead y'all harass me. Ridiculous. It is pretty bad. It, it doesn't look good, especially after going to the city council, and then a I week later he gets. Box, you tell him to fuck off. He gets raided like one. this. Doesn't look good. Complete bullshit. You want to come into my gym because there's an issue outside? 
they can come into your gym under the the information that the, the city attorney read off the code. If there's I got your two codes right here, buddy. Let me let me explain. I mean, I, I know you're upset. Let me explain before you reply. If there's an issue at the business next door, for example, we can use your violations here to get a warrant to go into their business. According to the law, that is the bullshit. Law. It was, it was <laughs> That's an unlawful law. search and seizure, my friend. You cannot go on their this property for anything wrong with my property. Can I explain? This go ahead, not, try. This is not your typical police type search warrant and affidavit. This is an administrative search warrant, which still falls under Fourth Amendment rights. I did that. It has a lower threshold, though. Doesn't matter. Still, still cannot violate my Fourth Amendment rights. I understand that. You're trying You're to right. come into my building for something outside my building. That is, that is another of, Fourth Amendment right that violation. Is part of no, you're talking about a code box that belongs outside. Okay. And you're talking about a piece of trash that belongs outside. If they come in here, it's against my Fourth Amendment rights again, and you're their supervisor. So you make that call. Can I explain to you that having a prior violation that was observed? What violation? It got thrown out. Go no, again. Yes, it, it got thrown out because it was filed under the wrong code. Completely wrong. They should have fixed it. On what code? There's no code. Can I explain? No, because I'm pissed off and you're about Can to violate my Fourth Amendment rights and you're going to let them do it. I don't want to get you pissed off any longer than we <clears> have <throat> to, but you got to let us finish doing what Finish we what? Do. Coming on my property without my permission for no warrant? That's not a warrant to come on my property. That That's a warrant to go out there and a warrant for outside my box. Nothing to do with inside my building. Like I was explaining to you, when you have a previous violation that's noted, all they have to state is there was a previous No, that goes against my Fourth right. Amendment rights. And it allows them access. No, it does not. The uh, Fourth Amendment right, unlawful search. Okay. The city attorney cited that code last night in closed session to council. What code? In closed session to council? Yes, sir. Funny, no. because the council members called me and said that didn't happen. Go again. What are you talking about? You're talking about the city council? Last night. Well, there was a meeting last night. Oh, well, then the city yeah. council lied to me. Why? Thanks for letting me know. They right. said that my building was not discussed at all in last night's city council meeting. Not an open session. It was a closed session. At all. I, I don't know what you talked to or who you talked to. But I can tell you that they're not allowed to discuss closed session items. So they can deny talking about items on closed session. But it was listed on the agenda. Okay, so again, this is outside and outside. So how are they getting Correct. in the building? What I was telling you is the city attorney read the code, which requires the elements in order to get a search warrant. Those elements, one of them is knowledge of a previous violation even if the violation was not whether the violation set to was code or not or not if there is knowledge that there has been a previous violation there was not a previous violation thrown out not one okay so you throw the out the fourth amendment right no 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 the violation was thrown out because the prosecutor did not like the code it was filed under it should have been filed under a different code yeah incompetence so they have to cite me for that code in order for me to have one i don't have a citation yet so that's legal for them to come off your property if so they if have you're basing it off a citation that's not valid I'm yeah. not basing it on the citation at all. I'm basing it off that's the violation you're, that's what a violation that was cited and thrown out. That was not code. Because it was wrong. That's correct. Right? Absolutely correct. Even though the violation okay. was wrong, you're still you're no, 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 able no, no. to come on the property. The violation was filed under the electrical code. She would rather it have been filed under the fire code but it was, or vice versa. So wrong. it was wrong code. Wrong. Okay. They tried the fire code bullshit let, with me too. Let me, explain to you. Too. let me explain this to you what case law says. Because case law tells us how to operate. Even if there is a violation, let's say there's a violation right now. I understand because it's the same building. Your D, your no, let's say that I pull you over, your DWI, and I charge you with PI. But really, your DWI, let's say PI doesn't even apply because you're in your car. It's not a public place. But I charge you with PI. I file that. I bring it to court. The prosecutor can either dismiss the charge or she can modify the charge on information or complaint. Information simply means complaint. This prosecutor chose, instead of modifying the violation to attach it to the right code, she chose to throw the ticket out. Okay, so the so that yeah. that initial violation is thrown out. So they're thrown out initial oh, okay. violation. So right. the throwing out initial violation yes. means you can come on the property anytime you want because there was an initial violation before, even though there was no violation okay. the vi because it was on the wrong code. The initial violation, <laughs> she chose to throw it out instead of charging. Throwing it out means no violation. Correct. Are we still uh, kind of? We still have two years to refile that charge. Two years. Good. When you refile it, come into my building. Is it refiled? You're coming on here for he's, shit outside he's of my property. He's coming on here to finish that inspection. That's outside. They can walk around. On the open well, I mean, this guy's already proved his incompetence no, by, he's not by giving the wrong code. Nowhere on here does it say that. It says you've got, you got a trash violation outside. And what's the other one? There's two. I don't know. This seems shady. No, let's see. Oh, it is. There's 